Hello everyone, this is Rimesh Sims here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you're all doing all right and safe. So today we are touring this Onyx penthouse and I finished mine with the help of ridiculous amount of SPs, but we're not gonna talk about that. But yeah, so I finished mine here and it's pretty, it's gorgeous. I just love how it turned out. And I've used those light outside to make it an outside light. I tried to make this build look interesting, you know, from the outside, not too boxy. And I just wish we had also windows that had gold rims or perhaps a roof that had gold rims, you know, that would have been good. But I think it looks good anyways. And I love these bump outs that I did on the second floor there. So they are floating rooms and yes, floating room glitch are still working and this is how it looks at night mode in night mode and i'll just love how these lights looks they are from the glam mansion event uh, if i'm not mistaken and they just look fabulous uh in the outdoor here um it gives uh lots of character to the build you know so i like how it turned out so yeah, this is the view at night and I am going to show you as well around in here. So um, there is the owner of the house, but I'm going to show you a little bit of the pool side here. So we don't have um, black rim for the pools uh, in the game. So I just use those rugs to do that. And then I've used those new pillars that we just got from the Sim Chase event. And I also added another rug underneath the pillar there so it looks like the pillars are on something you know because just in the water it didn't look too realistic so that's what i did and i love that gold ladder is very nice and i didn't want just plain long um pool so i made it l-shaped like that and those pillars are holding that floating room that uh works um if you want to do the floating room you have to use the in-ground spa that we have in the game and another thing i like is those lights that i put uh, in this bump out here is beautiful and here we have an outdoor area, sitting area where um, they can eat outside, you know. So here is the owner of the house. This is Patricia Davis. So she is a very famous Sims tuber and she has 10 million subscribers. And she's very, very famous now. And she owns this beautiful mansion here. So here we are entering um, the house, the beautiful mansion, and I love the grand entrance here. We have the piano and darkly we have the view at the pool over there. And um, I love the rug that leads inside the house. Um, those fireplaces pillar looks like they're holding up the mezzanine above. And I put this chair over here right now, but I would like to have this particular chair um from the current from the next sim chase event that will be awesome and over here there is a light setting you know and that's not a glitch you can put those lights just above the splint just like that and i think it's look very beautiful um it's you know it looks extra and edgy and through these archways uh is the living area so um i wanted the living area to be very simple very sleek very plain so this is just for you know um special guests you know and then um i have merged this fireplace here between those two rooms so it looks like one uh, it looks like two fireplaces backing up uh, each one. So one is on the other side. And I just put those new lamps above it. And it looks beautiful. I don't know. It's gorgeous, I think. And then over here is the dining area. And I've used those old um, cabinets, no, countertops from the Chic Boutique event. Or I don't remember the names anymore but yeah that was the living area and here we are in the kitchen area here so she even has a chef there that cooks for her and patricia loves uh indian cuisine so she has um 
Bharti Patel here cooking for her. Um, she's probably making some curry, some sort of curry and chapatis and rotis and whatnot. And then, um, yeah, so the kitchen is very simple, very beautiful, very clean looking. And um, she also has a housekeeper because the whole uh, building is serviced. So she get also services uh, from a housekeeper. Across the kitchen is the half bath area. And over here, I've used all the items from the glam event. And they are very beautiful and very sleek and goes well with this build. And of course, I merged a mirror above the sink because that how sink should be. And so, yeah, um, there, there is the housekeeper. She is vacuuming there. She's making sure the house is nice and clean and neat and uh, stays well put together, you know. Because Patricia doesn't have time to clean the house. <laughs> Love. Okay, um, so, yeah, um, this is the first floor of the mansion. And now we're going to go on the second floor. And this is just beautiful. I just love how this looks. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I just love how the gold, the black, um, the beautiful painting, the lights all look together. And that stairs is masterpiece, you know. Um, I just love all the things that we're getting uh, in the game. So, yeah. And this there is a mezzanine here. And imagine somebody playing the piano downstairs and it's just rings all around the house. It's, oh, it would be, you know, dream. Um, so, yeah, she is here in front of her guest suite. So she does have a guest suite in here. Um, as soon as you enter, we uh, see you have here a little living area for the guests just to sit and chat. And then uh, from the archway there, we have the sleeping area. Uh, with those new beds that we get and I wanted those um, that mirror to be the headboard but um, yeah you get the idea and the guests have very pretty view as well from their bedroom and then it has an ensuite bathroom as well and I've used the same uh, sets from the Glam Mansion event as well um, the shower is from the Holiday Iris event so yeah and it's all went together so i'm gonna show you the master bedroom after because that's a whole part of itself uh we're just gonna go to the third floor for now because uh that's very little to see there and we're gonna go back to the bedroom just after so here is the th third floor um it is also lofted it is has also a mezzanine that looks through and through and this is where she entertains her guests or watches movies with her friends when she has time and it has also amazing view they can go to the balcony area and she has a popcorn machine on the side there and so yeah if she's up here she can see all the way down uh, onto the first floor so that's how it is now we're going to see her bedroom and thank you to Donza Grant. She asked for a um, bedroom that has mezzanine and that it would be pink and gold. So that's uh, what I did in here and thank you for that Donza. Um, so here is the bedroom when we come here. Uh, it's all pink and gold, um, rose gold and gold. It's all there. And that chest of drawer just has her makeup and her PJ, let's say, because her whole uh, closet is upstairs. And you'll see that in a second. So uh, through that archway there, uh, there is a stair that leads to the second level there. And um, there is a washer combo dryer. Uh, in the corner there just for her to wash her clothes if she wants to uh, maybe somebody else is doing it for her and here we have her bathroom and look at that this is luxury this is awesome and beautiful and those candles makes it just oh, really nice and she has amazing view from here so she can take a soak after a long day of work with all those designer and all that and so yeah after that archway here we have the rest of the bathroom and i've put here my favorite sink gold and white sink here um these uh, were available on the online store and uh, this is probably my favorite sink in the game and there is a chair there because she does her makeup here as well um because she has good lightning lighting um in her bathroom 
And on the third floor here, we have uh, where she records her videos and her closet space as well. And the bedroom is lofted and this is a very good idea. So thank you very much, Donza, for this idea. And I love how it turned out. So this is where she does her videos. Um, and I've used, I know that's a reception desk, but I just use it as a um, regular computer desk. And uh, I forgot to say, Patricia used to just, you know, give reviews on purses and shoes. But then uh, she got lots of requests. She got requests on how she does her wash and go hair and makeup tutorials. And um, uh, at the end, she got her own brands. So now she also sells her own brands of shoes and purses. And over the side, she has her closet spaces. And here we, I have merged a few of those clothes rack to make it look like lots and lots and lots of clothes. So yeah, that's her bedroom area. And this is where um, she does her video. So let's pretend she had a green screen that comes behind her with remote control. And she uses headphones and something like that to... Um, dump the noises and the echo in the room and then the best part is she can see through the windows through the family room over there um they cannot see her but she can see who is there and she can see the housekeeper there and it looks like she's taking a break from uh, vacuuming all those rooms so yeah that was the tour of this penthouse and i love how it turned out um, I love everything about it. I love the color scheme and all that. So now I am uh, sharing with you the great numbers uh, if you want to recreate this uh, penthouse. And if you do recreate it and post on Facebook, make sure to tag me on so I can see what you've done. And here, as you can see, uh, the layout is very, very simple. And if you put this um, house on a normal lot, it would look awesome as well. I just wanted it to be on the penthouse here in the city. And I will for sure change that um, bench on the first level there with the, one, the, with the one that we get from the Sim Chase event. That's for sure because they're just gorgeous. And so, yeah. Here we are at the uh, second floor and that was my favorite part uh, in this um, house and all those lights as well. Here we have the bedroom, uh, the pink bedroom and the bathroom. And so yeah, the bathroom area is pretty big but as you can see the layout is very very simple. And um, everything was simple to do. And as I said before, if you want to recreate the floating room glitch, um, make sure to use the in-ground spa to do that. Uh, that would be very easy to do with that. And so, yeah, that's all for the tour of this house. Uh, here is a last overview of the house again. And uh, this is the end of the tour. Let me know in the comment below how did you find Patricia's house. I hope you enjoyed it too. Uh, I will see you next time with another house tour video soon. Till then, take care, stay safe, happy simming!